It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the New York Jets and the Denver Broncos next on Madden NFL 24. An absolutely perfect fall afternoon for football. And we are under bright blue Colorado skies at Empower Field at Mile High in Denver. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Denver Broncos. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, such a great quarterbacking tradition here in the Mile High City. It continues with the presence now of Russell Wilson. What's your outlook of year two? Cautiously optimistic, because Russell Wilson... A down year last year, but he's been so great throughout his career, you expect him to get back to those heights. Pair him with Sean Payton, the new head coach. Put those two minds together, and I'm expecting Denver to be much improved. But meanwhile, for the Jets, you know, even putting the quarterback situation aside, this is an exciting time for them right now. Yeah, they were just 7-10 last year, I get that. But they're building a roster that's potentially got some future stars involved. They certainly are, remember. Going 7-10, they were 7-3 and three at one point last season. And they finished the year with the offensive and defensive rookies of the year. So you know that this roster is really on the rise. Well, the Broncos offense gets set to go to work. And at the helm in his second season wearing orange and blue, Russell Wilson. And I think that even after a decade in the NFL, he doesn't get enough credit for not just his consistency, but his brilliant play and leadership as well. He's won a Super Bowl in Seattle. He's led his team to another Super Bowl opportunity also in Seattle. His numbers are always terrific, almost always in the Pro Bowl, and all his team does is win. This guy's a natural leader. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Play action's supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, if it takes a little too long to develop, you got people right in your face. And lucky just to get rid of the ball with the arm going forward. Could have been a fumble. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Wilson. A short one of the tight end, Troutman. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. On third down, Wilson. It's caught on the right side, Williams. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. That's taken on the 25. Dances by him. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Jets will take over first and 10. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU at Zach Wilson. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket. Able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. He'll buy some time right. They're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 39 yards the distance covered on the catch and run. They started this drive with terrific field position. And it's going to get even better after that play. Had great options with where they started. So they decided to press their advantage, and it paid off. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Off the play fake, here's Wilson, eluding the pressure right. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. No score after one on EA Sports.
Now Wilson. Over the middle, it's complete. And the Jets are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. To throw is Wilson. Dancing to his left. And this is incomplete. Randall Cobb, the intended receiver. But it'll be second and goal. Wilson. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin from six yards away. And the Jets post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. So that drive spanned five plays, and it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Throwing is Wilson. They're looking for Judy, but it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick inside the 20. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings this one all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. After the interception, here's Wilson. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Partner, this is almost an unwinnable spot for a defense. They have to come right out for a first and goal trying to stop him. But let me hold on a second. Let me take that back real quick. They can win here if they force a field goal try. Still a long ways away. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Alan Lazard, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Right after the touchdown to extend their lead, now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. So now the possession will begin at the 35 after the errant kickoff. Well, that's certainly one way to avoid a dangerous kick returner, I suppose, but you are giving up extra yardage, that's for sure. Because if you put it out of the end zone, they start at the 25. So at a minimum, you're giving up 10 yards to the offense. Now Wilson on first down. Open man downfield is Judy. He's got it. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. A huge play there for Denver. 43 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. There's Wilson. Wide open receiver complete. And the Broncos are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Wilson. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Adam Trapman. A five-yard touchdown. 
And the Broncos get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Lutz good on the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. Following the main field goal, Lutz to kick it away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And the Jets going to go on offense one last time in this first half. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. This time they'll just keep this on the ground and not much happening there as he'll get it back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Play action. Now Wilson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And there will be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. Final play of the half, it's Wilson. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. 